Last Friday night here in the concert hall at the farm, we had a fundraising dinner for the schoolhouse. We usually do this once a year and most of the time it's in the fall, but this year we decided to do it in the springtime because Bob Goff was only available then and we wanted Bob Goff. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Goff. 107 billion people have ever lived, give or take. There's about 7.8 billion alive right now. So there's 15 people not here for every one of you that are here. And so I think they're leaning over the rails from heaven saying, what's your contribution? What do we do next? Where do we go from here? And I think when we started this, you guys started something that you didn't know where it was gonna go, where it's going places. It's actually going around the world. What I don't want you to do now is get distracted by the other things around you. Sometimes what happens is we'll take things that are really small and we'll make them really big. That, that is what distracts us. But sometimes what we start doing is taking big things like love and grace and acceptance and curiosity and wonder and all that and we make them really small. And what I want to do is come together and make this normative. I want to start right-sizing things. Make the big stuff the big stuff and if you make the big stuff the big stuff, then everything else becomes small stuff. Like you do it by getting the cows out of the field. You do it by growing something. You grow, you, do, you don't have any teachers here. You have educators. The woman standing here, that's what an educator does. And if we get that right, if we keep making the big stuff out of the big stuff, then everything else becomes small stuff. We'll be known for our opinions. We're gonna be remembered for our love. God bless you guys. Thanks so much. What if we could think of the world and nature and life as the classroom, and we create an environment where kids learn to be the great teachers of themselves? All that has come to be and more, and honestly, it is only because of you. You make it possible. This school has never been funded from me. I pay a monthly tuition for Indiana to go, just like all the other parents, and I'm honored to get to do it. We are a very small school with a very big vision, and I believe an even bigger impact on the world. Though our enrollment each year is only a dozen children, there are thousands, maybe millions of people following along with the school as it tells its story. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, it is not about us, it is about the people following along and the impact this school and the things we're doing could have on them. Somewhere, probably in many places right at this moment, there are other parents thinking to themselves, I wonder if, and they're going to have a moment just like this where they're going to celebrate. Thank you for all your continued support of the schoolhouse. And what if we're just getting started? Maybe you can join us next year at the dinner, whether it's this fall or next spring, we'll keep you posted on that. One of the things I love about the Homestead Festival and homesteading is that you get to rethink a lot of things, not just rethinking where our food comes from, but you get to rethink education. And here at the farm, we've been doing that for quite a while. This is our fourth year to have the school going, and it's amazing. The kids learn all kinds of things. Everything feels like school, and we get to do some fun things, especially this week. I know at the festival, there'll be quite a few people talking about, lots of conversation going on about school and what can be done, what can be done. What are the options? Homeschool, building schools ourselves, private schools, alternative schools, unschools. It's, it's actually an incredible time to rethink education. So I hope you join us at the festival. If you don't have your tickets yet, you can go to thehomesteadfestival.com. We would love to have you join us. I'm gonna head back out to the garden and keep working on installing the drip lines. We've got some little friends who are gonna come help us after lunch. Hope you have a good day. See you tomorrow.